Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're finally going to move on from the Toy Story. Wait, what? You're telling me there's a fourth one? <sighs> Alright, let's get through this. I'm just screwing with you guys. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about Toy Story 4, as I said. Uh, it's directed by Josh Cooley, a 2019 animated family comedy. Uh, it was finally able to not have to make up the adventure bullshit. Stars returning cast members, you know them by now. Tom Hanks and Sheriff, as Sheriff Woody, say it with me. Tim Allen as Buzz Lightyear. Annie Potts as Little Bo Peep. Joan Cusack as Jesse. Wallace Shawn as Rex. John Ratzenberger as Ham, who sadly, I mentioned in the Toy Story 3 review, I'd be looking out for him. He is not part of this as much as he should be. Anyway, Kristen Shaw as Trixie, Bonnie Hunt as Dolly, Blake Clark as Slinky Dog, Estelle Harris as Mrs. Potato Head, Jeff Garwin as Buttercup, Timothy Dalton as Mr. Pricklepants, Finally, Don Rickles, using archival voice work, since sadly he passed away in 2009, 2017 at the age of 90. Uh, but he is finally back in his last role as Mr. Potato Head. As for some new additions, nobody surprised me here. I already knew them all since it's a very recent movie. We have here Tony Hale as Forky, Keegan Michael Key as Ducky, Madeline McGraw as Bonnie. Jordan Peele as Bunny, Christina Hendrickson as Gabby Gabby, Keanu Reeves as Duke Kaboom, Ali Mackey as Giggle McDimples, Jay Hernandez as Bonnie's dad, Carl Weathers, last seen as the in The Mandalorian, if you follow my Instagram, played Griff Karga in that. In this, he plays all of the combat Carls you see. Bill Hader as Axel. Yes, he's only in one scene, but it's freaking Bill Hader, so I'm going to report on Bill Hader if I'm going to report on him. Also, you last saw him in 2017's Power Rangers as Alpha 5. And Lori Allen as Bonnie's mom. That's a 97% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, I agree with that. Off a budget of $200 million, it made $1.073 billion at the box office. It's only a smidge more than part three did, but earned, I'd say. But that's also inflation. Alright, a little freelance real quick. It's not that I don't like this entry, and it's not that I detest it. Um, I just, as... It, it's another point where I'm going to have to mit nitpick, um, since this is... This entry is highly regarded as amazing, yet very unnecessary. We did not need a Toy Story 4. Uh, I, I prefer when Pixar kind of goes out on a limb and creates new stories instead of making prequels or sequels to their past films. So no Toy Story 4 wasn't necessary. It is still good, though. Once again, hinting at that slim marginal ranking I spoke of, um... It's basically, it's based on nitpicks at this point when I do the ranking. So, Woody is probably the best character in the film because he has an actual arc and the rest, they don't. You're, you're just told them. You're not shown their arcs. The main characters are Woody, Buzz, Bo Peep, Forky, Ducky, Bunny, Duke Kaboom, Giggle McDimbles, and Gabby Gabby. Everyone else is sidelined. Either they're left behind in the beginning of the film, or they're simply just there to do small things to help make sure that the parents don't leave the toys behind. So the whole story is Bonnie goes to kindergarten, and uh, to help her make friends, Woody goes with her. Uh, and helps her kind of behind the scenes. But Bonnie doesn't know it. The other kids don't know it. The teachers, the parents, nobody knows it. 
he helps her create Forky, who is, as I forgot, as I was showing you guys these, I knew there was one more of my uh, Disney minifigures here. This little guy. This, this little guy is supposed to represent Forky. Pretty cool, if you ask me. Forky is made out of garbage. Why is Forky made out of garbage? Well, it's because it needs to be a joke. It doesn't. And it frustrates me beyond belief. I like the Forky character. Uh, I think he's funny. I think he had potential to be the next Olaf. But because he's made out of pieces of garbage, he thinks he is garbage. Which leads to many, and I mean many, scenes where he jumps into a garbage can and Woody throws him out. Or he is running towards a garbage can and Woody takes his pole string and lassos him in. Oh my god. Ugh, it's so unnecessary. We didn't need that. Um, a little more story. I, not that there's not enough story in the movie, but a little more than, okay, now we're going to go on vacation to a carnival. Uh, it's And uh, now the toys somehow run into Bo Peep. I, I don't know. I did not write the story. This is kind of my nitpick, but that's not the only one I have. So as I said, Bonnie and her parents, they go on vacation, and she takes out a few of her toys to go with her but not as many of, of the ones that we've known and loved for 20, 25 years now no ham potato heads are sidelined um it's just it's rough it's kind of a rough watch we see more from Trixie and Jesse obviously um trying to think of who else was in the camper um, Buzz was until he left. Buzz was. That's a fun thing to say. Uh, but of course, this is all done to push new toys for parents to buy. I, I mean, characters in the movie. Um, I don't know where I was going with that. Um, so they go through some antics, of course, in order to save Forky after he got sporknapped by Gabby Gabby. Uh, her goons are these marionette puppets who are absolutely as woody puts or as uh forky puts it who oh, these guys are terrifying yes yes they are forky they are horrifying um there's a scene where the one smiles and it's just unsettling just so creepy um gonna give kids nightmares probably uh and when i say some antics i mean a lot of antics uh there's one scene where um ducky and bunny are giving up ideas of how to get the keys from the little old antique shop owner and uh they all involve the two of them attacking the old lady and buzz is like yeah no you can't do that buddy and <laughs> Fortunately, the whole movie kind of feels like its its only tactic is separate the characters. All right, let's bring them back together. Separate them again? All right, time to bring them back together finally. <sighs> Boring. Give me uh give me a toy dying or something. Leave a man behind. I am not saying I want to see toy death in my Toy Story movies, but hell, part 3 brought it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna expect it now. Um, of course the acting is good. That's no, it's no surprise. The animation is absolutely gorgeous to look at. I've talked about this so many times before now. Um, they were able to make so many natural things like trees, rivers, and leaves look very lifelike in their movements. Uh, it's amazing, and a huge shout out to all of the animators that worked on this movie. I can't, of course, call them all out. It'd be a long, long list. But a huge shout out to them for all of their continuous hard work. So, I feel as though there were no good characters to talk about other than Woody and Bo Peep. Their relationship began in the first film, and that's really that 
that's really all that makes this feel like it's part of the original timeline. Um, so part three ended Andy's story, and yeah, it began Bonnie's, but oh, we didn't know Bonnie. We weren't invested in Bonnie. Cat's getting in the garbage. So we only saw Bonnie for a few scenes inside of Toy Story 3. So why in the world would we want to see more of that? Especially, I mean, we get the, the Pixar shorts, the Toy Story shorts all the time. So you could just say those are official canon, which they are. I don't know, man. I just, uh, the Bonnie character, I don't really care about. I mean, if you ask a kid nowadays, hey, what's Woody's owner's name? They're not going to say Andy, and they're not going to say Bonnie and be like, Woody has an owner. Which, of course, by the end of this movie is actually true. Um, but now, if you ask someone my age, be like, Andy, no one knows about the Bonnie character. She's not as established. And I get that they're trying, but there should not be a Toy Story 5. And if there is, what are they going to do? Bonnie go to college and give the toys to someone else? Yeah. No. No, 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 thank you. Andy got three movies. Both first two are him growing up. The final one is him moving on with life. Open and end, shut case. Woody goes through different arcs and that all combines into one, which is why those first three films feel like one complete story. Whereas this is, it's kind of a one-off. So I guess if I were to do a Pixar, okay, you, you wanna, ow, 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 you wanna get down, I'm sorry. Psycho. Um, I guess if you were to do um, a Pixar ranking, you'd probably rank Toy Story 4 somewhere else and then other three Toy Story films as one complete story. Um, so... Psycho Cat. He never knows what he wants to do. I hate to break it to you guys. He looks adorable, but he's psychotic. So, that's all that really helps. Is, uh, Bo Peep is really, her kind of connection with Woody is what helps make this feel like it's still part of that original timeline. And now that Bo Peep lives by herself in the middle of a playground, just kind of there to be played with and thrown to the side, she loves it. Woody decides to go with her at the end of this movie. Uh, very unlike Woody, if you recall the last movie, where he was dead set on going back to Andy. Uh, and then finally decided to go over to Bonnie. Which is another thing. Why not just go to the attic and wait five years for Andy to have a damn kid? Come on. Come on. So... Uh, Bo Peep got sold several years ago prior by Andy's mom and ended up in the antique store with Gabby Gabby. Now she roams free on a playground and by the end of this, Woody goes with her. Ending, I suppose, his story started in part one. I don't know what I really meant by that other than the... You know, he, he wants to get back to Andy in part one. Part two, he wants to go back to Andy. Part three, he's given up. Now he's now it's time to go on to Bonnie. And by the start of this, it's kind of like, it's a lot of work. A lot of work just watching one kid grow up to go on to the next one. I could just, he, he's getting that Lotso mindset inside of this movie. Here's, here's the thing. The more I think about it, the more I realize it's extremely unnecessary. And it really feels like Pixar needed to make some quick money. And they made one point, I think I said zero, seven, three billion off of this. Yeah, one point zero seven three billion dollars off of this movie. Off of us to watch a movie we've seen four times now. Because really it is the same plot over and over again. I hate when studios do this. I'm still giving it a 9 out of 10, though. Even though it's clearly a cash grab, 
there's still so much love in it that I, I had, I don't even think I scratched the surface of. I mean, Ducky and Bunny, Keegan, Key and Peel are the main, two, two of the main characters. They're funny. They're hysterical. I love every scene that they're in. Like I said, and Tim Allen, Tom Hanks, always a treasure. There's, there's so much to love about it. Except the fact that Annie Potts never makes a who you gonna call reference. That should have happened. And I'm gonna look it up now just to make sure. Alright. Does Annie Potts Okay, so she never makes a reference to it, but I did just read that she's coming back for Ghostbusters Afterlife. That's cool. I mean, if you're into that, I am. I want to see it. I still haven't seen the second Ghostbusters, but I love the first one. So she never makes a Ghostbusters reference, which really needed to happen. I think that would have been hysterical. Even if it's like a, Bo Peep, we gotta get out of here. Well, who you gonna call? Come on, Disney. What the hell are you thinking? Alright, so seriously, tomorrow we're going to move on from these damn toys and go on to Monsters, Inc. So stick around. Until tomorrow when we talk about Monsters, Inc. Until I actually rank the Disney movies like I've been talking about. Until I actually do a top 10 for Disney movies to watch on Disney+. Plus. Until I talk about the four Toy Story movies as a ranking. Until I do any of that. Hell, even until next week when we do Dis DC Week. I am Luke, and I will see you guys later. Alright, so we're done. We're done with this. No more. No more toys. Absolutely no more toys. Alright, good. Good.